Hello and welcome as we continue our journey into Python and Python development. Today, we're going to introduce the concept of classes and objects. This is something that's very core. We're going to be talking about it a lot. Today, we just want to scratch the surface and introduce the concept so at least we know what we're dealing with. Uh, there's a newer generation of programming languages called object-oriented programming languages. So whether you're dealing with C++, one of the older ones, Java, C Sharp, and now in this case, Python. Uh, it's very nice because object-oriented programming languages have a lot of beautiful features such as scalability and, and you know, uh, reuse of code and so on. Uh, to oversimplify it, you have what's called a class. It's kind of a definition. It's kind of a blueprint. Uh, suppose I need to build 10 homes that look exactly the same in the neighborhood. So we take a map, you know, we kind of draw this architectural design using AutoCAD or whatever, and you say, okay, it's going to have two rooms and a bedroom and a this and a that, and we call this the house. So this is our class, the house. So every time you want to build a house, you take that map and build house number one, house number two. So this is object number one, object number two. So the print, the design, the, 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 the way you're going to build it, uh, your blueprint is the class. And every time you make a copy, that's an object, object, object of that class. Uh, then we're going to talk about something called uh, properties and methods, which go along with the class and how you could kind of uh, manipulate that. So let's jump in and start creating our first class. Okay, so to simply create a class, let's say we want to create a class called my class. It simply is class, my class, and in this case, x is equal to 5. So that's how we're doing with our simple introductory class. And let's see what data type this is. So we're just going to type in print my class. So I want to know what my class is. So when we run it, it's going to say my class is of data type class. All right. So we've successfully created a class. Uh, but now let's go a little bit deeper and create an object called P1. Let's create an object called P1 from our class. So we have a class called my class where X is equal to five. Now we want to create an object called P1 based on my class. So now that we've created this object, let's go ahead and print P1.x. It's the value of X in P1. It's based on the class where X is equal to five. So the value should still be five. Sure enough, the value is still five. Now, all classes have a function called init. And as we're going to see it, uh, the init function allows us to assign values to the object properties. So let's see how to make sense out of that. We're going to type a little piece of code here. So we're going to create a new class and call it person. Define underscore underscore init. And then self. Okay, now we have two that we're passing parameters. So it's name and age. And then in self, we're going to define name is equal to name. And then age is equal to age. So now let's go ahead and create our object, P1. And the person in P1, because we have two values, has the name of John comma, and the next one is age, so has an age of 36. All right, so now let's go ahead and print p1.name and print p1.h. And let's see what happens. Sure enough, we get, based on our object p1, that the name is John and the age is 36. So we've created a class named person. We've used the init function to assign values for both name and age. So let's go a step further now and talk about object methods, about methods. Uh, we can insert a function that prints a greeting and execute it on the P1 object. So let's go ahead and see how we're going to do that. Remember, objects can also contain methods. What's a method? Methods and objects are basically functions that belong to the object. Methods. Our objects are in objects are functions that belong to that object. So let's go ahead and create a method in the person class. So we already have the class defined it. Now let's add our function. My 
right function. And here we're going to print hello. My name is plus self dot name. And then we would like to print P1 person John that stays. And now let's print P1 dot my function. All right, let's run that. And we get hello, my name is John. So again, a method basically uh, in an object or functions that belong to that object, as we've seen in this example. So hopefully this gives us a very high level introductory uh, understanding of what a class is, what an object is, and then a general idea of what pre uh, methods and properties are. So think about it. So a reminder again, classes and objects are the two main aspects of object-oriented programming. A class is the blueprint from which individual objects are created. In the real world, for example, there are many thousands of cars in existence. All of them have the same make and model. So each car was built from the same set of blueprints and therefore contains the same components. In object-oriented terms, we say that your car is an instance or an object of the class car. So the class is car and the instance or the object is what we're driving. All right, thank you very much.